you look very carefully, you can see that the highlights here are slightly blown out. ChatGPT is saying, yes, I can absolutely help you create a lot for Premiere Pro. Let's find out if that's true. The first thing I want to do is I want to create a neutral input LUT for this video frame here or for this video clip. And I've prepared a prompt for ChatGPT and I'm going to drop in a reference image so that ChatGPT knows exactly what it's dealing with. All right, it says, thanks for the frame. Since you're working with Canon C-Log3, you're right. The image appears very flat and desaturated, which is expected. Okay, it looks like ChatGPT understands exactly what I need. Okay, it created a preview of the LUT and it also directly created a cube file. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip the preview and we'll take a look in Premiere if that worked. I'm gonna head over to input LUT and this is the LUT that ChatGPT just created. Oh, hell no, man. What the if you look very carefully, you can see that the highlights here are slightly blown out. <laughs> Creating an input LUT doesn't seem to be working, but what if we already have an input LUT from Canon and ask ChatGPT to create a look for us? Let's see. I've prepared a reference image it's from a movie called The Groundbreakers and I'm going to drop it into ChatGPT. Like I think ChatGPT understands very well what kind of reference images you're putting in. It's saying things that sound like it understood what I wanted to do. Let's see if we get better results this time. Nope. <laughs> so can you create LUTs with ChatGPT? Yes, you can create LUTs with ChatGPT, but they so ChatGPT seems to be able to clearly understand what kind of LUT you want based on the reference images or based on the description you're giving it. It describes the look perfectly well, but when it comes to giving you a file, then that file just turns out as complete garbage. So no LUTs with ChatGPT so far.